Hey, how's it going, guys? Juggle the Jogobo here. I... They've... They've been circling me. There's a wolf involved. I don't know what the right course of action is. My primary concern is how I get home. I feel like if I make a run- ah! It found me! It found me! It found me! It found me! I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead. to goodness home and you took it from me can I okay hold on first order of business that is a freaking cat if I've ever seen one go ahead cat go ahead chase me chase me I have nothing to lose worst case scenario kill me and I just I go right back to where I was just moments ago <laughs> There are just some moments in Ark where you just, there's just so much, so much losing. There, there's not enough winning happening. There's just so much losing. <laughs> kind of disgusting. Oh my, 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 my. All right, so let me see here. I, I lost my house. I didn't even get to put the roof on the house, which is what really is just, Grinding my gears, so to speak. It appears that the fortitude is keeping me somewhat okay. I guess we're in the low desert. I don't. I don't really quite think this is what I would consider a low desert, but apparently that's where we are. What are you, little guy? Hey there, buddy. You're like a weird mixture between a cat, a raccoon, and like all. I think they're called wallabies. I don't really know. We are a mixture of some random stuff that I don't know if I really want to get acquainted with. Alright, anyway. Guess what? It's time to rebuild. So let's go ahead and do this here. I, I don't know if this is going to be close. Oh, wait. Is it, oh, it's a water vein. Oh, yeah, it's a good water vein. Alright, you know what? My main concern when I was living down in the pits was I didn't like the fact that we were close to the watering hole. Like, I wasn't, I don't like being near the source of all water. It's just, that is a surefire way for things to want to come and eat you. And this right here looks like a grand spot. I have para pals. I got little cat bunnies with me. It's great. This is actually cool. Kangaroos, you know, it's, it's making me feel more at home. I'm, hey, what's up, fam? I'm high-fiving you. I know it looks like I'm grabbing berries, but I am 120% high-fiving you. All right, so let me go ahead pick up a couple of these things um, I do need to make myself so these bad boys actually into a reality here so you do not give me the wood but these guys will so here give me wood all right there we go um, I'm gonna need some thatch as well so I'm gonna have to go punch I'm gonna have to punch some tall what are you an oil jar. Oh, that's the, okay. I don't think these, I think they're not hostile. As long as I don't annoy them, I'm probably okay. I don't. They don't appear to be hostile yet. So I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that they're not meant to be like. LOL, get wrecked, bro. So here's to hoping. <laughs> Let's get some thatch here. Oh, thatch. So much of you. All right, and then let's grab a little bit of that flint. Get ourselves a pickaxe going here. Grab some more flinteroonies. Don't startle me. I am very easily startled right now. Oh, gosh. And you wonder why wild animals just, like, perk up their ears. Like, what? Sounds. Like, that's literally me. I'm just terrified of all existence right now. And these rocks last a long time. Good lord. This is excessive. I'm going to break my pickaxe at this rate. Right, I guess that's just the way it was gonna be. All right, fireplace, make one of those bad boys. Let's up the weight yet again, and uh, we're we're proceeding rather smoothly. 
all things said and done, we're actually proceeding quite smoothly. Ooh, and we can officially pick up a small crop plot. Nice. <gasps> Wind spike wall. Yes. Please. Oh, I need to hide. Dang you. All right, we will we will get there eventually. Let's go ahead, give ourselves like half the clothes that would make up actual clothing, and then we will be able to wear them and to be happy. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead, equip those all on, and I suppose I'll just go ahead and put down this campfire, uh, not too terribly close to, yeah, not too terribly close to the watering pit, but close enough. And then we will also have ourselves a little bit of breakfast. And let me wander on over. Oh, man. Being encumbered is not a good life. Let me tell you, it is not. I do not like how their butts are big. They think they make me think that they're going to explode and kill me. And I don't like being dead. <laughs> it's not my thing, man. All right. Here we go. I know this waddling may look like I'm not making a lot of progress, but trust me, we're getting places. All right, there we go. Two foundations. All right, looking good. I don't know what that sound was about, but really hoping nothing vicious has come up here, because that's how it's been so far. We're doing fine, and then something vicious just comes up. And just ruins our day. And I just do not appreciate it. Alright, here we go. Let's like build it here. Let's build it towards this direction. Alright, and then... There we go. Some good old foundation hype. And we just need wood now. We are really just in need of just tons and tons of wood. So let's go ahead. I'll throw in... Uh, let's see here. I'll throw in some thatch into there. And... I can't, I can't put rocks in there. I will drop these stem berries. And I will also equip this hat. I just really don't have that much of a use for the amount of flint that I currently have in my person. But that's okay. Alright, so, hey there. The bugs are really surprisingly okay with being really close to people. Alright. Cactus, do you give wood? Because you look gnarled like a tree. Yes, you do. Give me your wood. Surrender thy wood to me. And we can be in peace. Alright, there we go. A handsome amount of thatch foundations. And I do mean a handsome amount. Uh, these stones, I feel like stones are not too... too wow, sand is heavy. Absolutely freaking not. Alright. Alright, and then let's go ahead and start placing some of these bad boys down. All right, then up we go. I almost feel like let's just surround this thing. Let's just surround this little thing of water. Let's like, <laughs> as silly as that sounds, I think that legitimately might not be a bad plan. I'm gonna do exactly that. We're gonna surround this thing and make like a little encirclement around our beautiful source of water and our this water is gonna be our bay. So let's just get this done. Okay, this could be a potential problem. That's okay. We can just do it like this. That'll be all right. I think I can build over it, so we should be okay. All right, so what we got going on here? I am requiring thatch. I have some wood, but I do need some thatch. Thankfully, these cacti seem to be more than happy to part ways with it, so I'll liberate some thatch for me. Thank you, good sirs. This cactus sap. My god, not cool. All right, there we go. Cactus, sap, and everything all looking good. Our encirclement is becoming quite grand in scale. Alrighty. And there we go. And we're just going to make it go all the way forward like that. And that should be perfection. Although it doesn't look even, does it? Ark, it's too early for you to be trolling me like that. Like, what? Are you even? I will never understand how Ark does this kind of stuff, but whatever. I'm sure. <laughs> Just whatever. Whatevs, whatevs. 
You do whatever you got to do. All right, so uh, next order of business. We need to get up walls. We need some good old-fashioned wallerinos, and that is going to be another whole thing of construction material that we do not have. Uh, walls, 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 walls. I suppose we'll just make two of these right out of the gate. All right, let's invest into some more fortitude here. Get our walls up into the crafting thingamajig, and then we will worry about the outside of this immediately for what I assume are obvious reasons. I am now, oh, we're in the desert. Shoot, it's going to get mad cold real quick. Fleep, I kind of forgot that winter, winter, the night is cold in the desert. Ugh, okay. Um, we may surprisingly need that campfire a lot sooner than we thought. Let's get some wood here. Alrighty. Man, we are just killing it in the wood game. Alright. Let's go ahead and craft up a ton of these walls, because I do need a ton of these walls. I'm so thankful right now that there are not Mega Neuro after me. Or even worse yet, actually, what would be the actual worst is if we had the freaking Dialo armies on me and Dial... I don't know. I guess... We're... I'm trying to think to myself, did Dialos ever really... I guess the early stages of the game, they kind of are troublesome. But I'm thinking if they would be troublesome now, maybe they would be. I don't know. I kind of feel like they would be. I, don't, I feel like they would interfere... There would be just that little bit of a distraction where it would be bad enough. I don't want to jinx it, though, so I'm just going to leave it be. I'm going to really, really hope that they don't decide to change their minds and come introduce themselves. Be like, hey, we've been living over that ridge over there. Nice of you to hang out. Let me go eat your face. I'm hoping that is not going to be the next things out of their mouth. So let me go ahead. Okay, new music. That's not going to lie. A little bit concerning. New music to me is not necessarily a good thing. I feel like predators could easily just pop out now and eat my face, which, as we've discussed before, is not my favorite pastime. But, you know, it's a, it's a thing. Alright. Let's go ahead and put some more of these down. Alright, there is our little humble entrance exit area surprisingly the night is not shredding me like I thought it would I honestly thought it was gonna like absolutely just manhandle me but it's actually been quite kind which is not at all how I thought that was gonna go down so cheers thank you game for not being a jerk face I appreciate your not wanting to murder me every second, but every other second. It's a nice change of pace. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put that wall down. Ooh, that golden drop. I see you. I see you. All right. Two more to go. One more to go. All right. So we are now sort of secure-ish. Um, def definitely not completely secure, but, uh, we are, we are definitely more secure than we were formerly. Alright, walls up. I just made another wall by accident. That is okay. Alright. And then we are going to make ourselves this little thing right there. And I think we've, we, for the time being anyways, we've secured ourselves an area that's not gonna, immediately going to be destroyed, which is great. That That's absolutely what we want. Um, I will learn how to make a storage box now. And storage boxes are going to require me to have a little bit more thatch. We can certainly arrange for that to happen, I think. Yep. Okay, let's go ahead, get that thatch, and let's start, let's start storing, let's actually start storing away some stuff. Let's... Let's be civilized. Let's actually start to put together some form of civilization. All right, so storage box. Um, I suppose what I'll do is for the time being, I'm going to start just hoarding some like random junk here and there. So I'm going to start just putting together some things. I'll probably line them on the back side here. All right, and then 
This magical box of wonders shall hold some flint. There we go. I do like that. All right, some flint there for the fam jams. Um, I will also... This thing spoils, and it's really... It's not super lightweight, but it's not really that heavy. Oh, crap. I'm freezing to death. Um, fudge. Okay. That was... Okay. Uh, hmm. What do I need for a fire thingy? Fireplace. I am going to require some more stone. Which I jettisoned all my stone earlier, so that's okay. There we go. Grab some... Nope. I just want the stone. Okay. Whatever. Just give me, give me that, but uh, give me the stone too. Alright, there we go. And then let's go ahead and let's just lop that down here. Fire... Fire would be nice. Fire would be nice. Fire would be really, 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 really nice. All right, and then... Yeah, perfect. Okay, cool. So now we will have a source of heat within our camp. That would be lovely. Absolutely lovely. Um, Let's use Thatch for the time being, because there are far more cacti around than anything else. And then... We'll drink some of that. I don't know why I decided to drink some of that, because I definitely have a water source right there, but that's fine. And then let's just go ahead, take down a cactus, grab ourselves some of that good old-fashioned thatch, and with said thatch, we'll be able to accomplish great things, such as adding more flames to the fire, or more fuel to the fire, I should say. All right, and then there we go, some extra thatch, and there you have yourselves a happy fire, and right next to a water vein, which is doubly nice. All right, cool. So, next order of business. We need roofs. We need a bunch of roofs. We need roofs as far as the eye can see. Not really, but we do need quite a few roofs. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm just going to kind of dip in and out of our base. I think that's kind of the way this is going to have to go down. Let me go ahead. Whoop. Broke down on me, will you? I will not settle for that. Actually, what happens if you swing an axe at this thing? Nothing? All right. I was wondering if you can maybe, like, get just primarily wood, which would have been dope as fleep, but... Not gonna happen, looks like. Alrighty. What happens if you swing an axe at this thing? What do you get? You seem to get more cactus sap, which is not what I want. Alright, so let me go ahead. Grab some of this stuff. I don't know what you are, but please do not break my base. It is so new. <laughs> it is too young to die. Alright. Not saying that you can't. I'm, I'm not challenging you, by the way, creature of unknown unknownness. Please do not take that as a challenge. Alright, and then... Let me go ahead. Add thatch roof. Thatch roof. Thatch roof. These are called thatch ceilings. 120% are called something, but I'm not respecting that. So I'm just going to call them whatever I please. And, all right, and there we have the beginnings of a humble home. All right, see, and then we're just going to expand this all the way around. We'll work from the outside inwards. That is debatably not the best idea, but you know what? My house, my rules. <laughs> so that is, of course, going to mean that we're going to do this in the way that I find personal. For, oh, and we get the house thing anyways. That works out perfect. I can leave this as an open thing for the time being. That's that's actually wonderful. Like, I'm not even being sarcastic about it. Like, that's actually really, really good. All right, so let me go ahead, put a door here, just so it looks fancy and official. And then let me go ahead and encompass some more. So we are still, this is considered indoors. That's actually really, really nice. Like, I, I can't stress how nice that is. That is a very, very comforting thing. Because all it takes is for me to have a roof over my head, it looks like. In this particular condition, which is great. I, I guess it's just like the way that the walls are set up and stuff. That's that's wonderful. All right, so let me go ahead and see. We need more fiber. We need more of everything, to be honest. All right, so let me... Okay, if I panic and I need to get home, I run straight into there. No questions asked. Just run. All right, just grab a little more fiber. I am such an herbivore right now. It's kind of painful. All right, here we go. Oh, a dodicarus. We could be friends, you and I. Alright, let's go ahead and ferry some stuff into our base. 
enjoy the warmth of our beautiful, beautiful sun. What is that? I don't know what that thing on the right is. It's like that little hand thing. I don't know what that was about. Um, zoob. I think. All right. Well, I'm definitely gonna leave some of that in here. Again, I. We probably won't even get to the point where we'll use it, but that's all right. I will start storing some sand up. Because while I don't have an immediate use for it, I do imagine that I'll eventually have a use for it. And I suppose what that means is that leaves us to building some more roofs. Yeah. We just need to, we, we probably want a little bit more thatch though. So let me go ahead, take down another giant cacti. Cactus, I should say. The giant cactus will be made mine. And thus it was so. And then let's get another one. Just for, just for being thorough and just to make sure that we have a good, healthy amount of this stuff. Alright, looking good. And so that will put us well on our way to adding some more roofs. Lovely. Alright. And let us... Ooh. There we go. Oh, that's the way. Oh, I like it. Alrighty, cover it all up. The beautiful moon shining down upon me, and we we haven't died. Nice. This is okay. So I think the the that first one is the best bet. South is still a little bit dicey for me. I don't know. Whatever this elevation is, what what are we at? We're we're in the eastern low desert. This area is the absolute. Bees pajamas? No, bees knees. What? Why did I say pajamas? But <laughs> it does seem to be uh, the absolutely wonderful, wonderful way to go. To be sure. All right. Ooh, what is this? Get underground. It's hot here. Wait, I'm confused. Superheat. What is superheat? I am extremely confused right now. What? Am I like actually in trouble here? I'm. What? Is everything just on fire? I think everything is on fire. This. Get underground. What do you mean underground? What does that even mean? I'm gonna be honest here. I have no freaking clue what's going on. All I know is that it's super dark, and I do not appreciate it being super dark, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on again. Okay, I am I am in home mode. Nineteen degrees Celsius doesn't seem like that would kill me. I'm slightly concerned, but more curious as to what the heck's going on. All right, so let me go ahead. I, I need a bed so badly. <laughs> I need a bed urgently. So let me get let me learn how to make a sleeping bag, and then learn how to make a bed afterwards. I'm assuming bed is going to still require me to learn. What is this? Oh, the more you know. All right, simple bed. I'm assuming this is going to require me to have hide. Yeah, I need forty hide. Go figure. All right, so what do I do? I don't I don't know what that means. It said go underground, but like what what do you mean go underground? I have no freaking idea what's happening. Alright, so let me go ahead. Um We're gonna have to go hunt. That's literally like the only option I guess I have left is I just have to go hunt something. So we'll have to go find something that is looking to be relatively easyish prey. Yeah, my health is recovering, so I'm. It's definitely not the super hot thing. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means like I'm about to be in the middle of a volcano eruption or something. But hopefully, it's not like an instant death scenario. Hopefully, it's like a yo as a suggestion. You may want to get to a cool place because that would be nice if that wasn't an instant death situation. That'd be great. I'm going to level up fortitude. <laughs> Just whenever you just you, you you just I have a really really bad feeling right now like I'm almost certain that this is gonna end poorly for me why does it say 20% 
I'm like actually really, really scared right now. I. Whatever. I. I I've just, I've just got to go with what I got. All right. So let me see. I am. Red beacon and green beacon. I am pretty close to the green beacon, in all honesty, in a place called the Eastern Low Desert. You look far too large for me to take on, so I shall not attempt to kill you. I will, however, have to find a smaller compatriot of yours and hunt him down in cold blood. I am very, very worried. Oh, these bugs. I just don't know if these bugs are going to, like, end my life. Ooh. Oh, these guys are so cute, though. And plus, I, I have a very bad experience of little things that look really cute generally end up murdering your face. Um... Forgive me, friend. I missed. <laughs> if only there were some para pals here, man. It's so dark. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it good. And. Oh. Oh. And meat. We're gonna have meat. We. We, we're gonna cook some meat. It's happening. It's finally happening. All right, up and over we go. Oh, magical campfire! I brought you offerings of meat. I ask that you change these offerings into not meat, and so I may be sustained for the rest of my days. All right, we just need wood now, and we're gonna have a bed. So even if I die, I'll, I'll come back to here and not random other places. I this is really weird. I can't see anything. Gamma 3, our good old friend. <laughs> I was holding off and doing Gamma 3 for a while there. I was kind of hoping that we would be able to get by without it, but I just don't think that's going to happen. All right. Please don't change your mind and eat me. Please don't change your mind and eat me. Please tell me that was you pooping. I just take it as that was you pooping. I will leave you to whatever activities you all do whenever I am not watching. All right, so... Let's see here. We got ourselves... A bed. Nice. Alright, and then let's see what else we got going on here. We do have 70 engrams. What part of the tech tree are we on? We are vessel. Stores preserving salts and makes them last longer. Salts expire? I didn't know salts expired. It's news to me. Alright, um, hmm. Water, reservoir, all this other stuff. Looking fine and dandy. This, I can imagine being a big deal on this map. Wooden raft, lol. As if. As if. <laughs> Preposterous. As if we're in dolphin saddle. Please. Game, you insult me with your, with your words. Alright, and then let's make ourselves our hands and feet. And a water skin for with which I can travel. 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 <laughs> And there we go, fam. Oh. It's been an absolute monster. I don't even want to know what that sound is. I just don't don't want to know. I'm going to go ahead and drop this off into here. And by this stuff, I mean I'm going to drop this all into there. Equip this. And let's go ahead and put that into its slot. And now, do I have the ability to fill this up here? No? I cannot fill it up in the water vein. I can drink to my heart's content, but I cannot... I cannot fill in a water skin. Okay. I mean, I, I really can't complain about that. Admittedly, I, I find that a little bit strange, but... Hello? Character? Why are you glitched? Why does this happen to me? I've made my mistakes. What the? Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode of ARK. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider leaving a like rating down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll see you guys next time where hopefully I will no longer be stuck in this. I think I'm going to have to re-log.
I think that's just where we are in the world. Is just I need to re-log. I don't know if there's a way around. Have to, anyways, I'll see you guys next time, and I guess we'll be trying to strike out and actually making some actual progression where I'm not going to have to hide in fear for the rest of my life. So, look forward to that. Bye-bye.